Hi everybody, welcome to Cap at Home. I'm Miss Rachel and today we're going to make this paper hot air balloon. So let's hop on over to the table so I can show you what you need and how to make it. And as we are getting this camera set up, I would like to take a moment to thank our sponsors, General Motors, for allowing us to come to you every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with art tutorials that are free to you. So, this is what we are making. It is like a little hanging paper sculpture. It looks like a hot air balloon. And we'll just need a few simple things in order to get this done. So, of course, you'll need something to write with. You'll need a hole punch. In the instructions, it says a needle. If you have something small to make holes with, that will work fine. If it's not a hole punch, it's okay. You'll also need scissors, glue, or tape. You'll need some kind of string. I have some yarn and some um, embroidery floss or whatever this is that I just kind of found. So whatever you have will work for this project. And you'll need a tube a paper towel tube or a toilet paper tube and you'll need some colorful paper in the um ads that we post it says five colorful sheets of cardstock but whatever you have will work these are not cardstock papers this is just copy paper that's just different colors and i've done it with this copy paper and it turned out fine so whatever you have will work so I have these five different colors and then I also have a scrap piece of poster board to make the stencil. So let's let me show you what I mean. The first thing you'll need is your um, whatever you're going to make your stencil with. You can go ahead and draw this directly on your paper if you want. But I created a stencil so that I could do this a bunch of times. So just think about that. If you want to do this a couple more times, then you'll want to create a stencil out of some thicker paper. And the way that I made my stencil was I drew a circle and then a small rectangle and then kind of created a curved line here. So I'll show you with my marker. So And it doesn't need to be perfect. Just a little circle here and then I drew a small rectangle and because I don't want this like sharp corner here I just kind of made a curved line that connects the two of them and gives you a softer curve right here to make more of our balloon shape and I did that on both sides now if you want to be super accurate with this then what you could do is make this stencil and then cut it in half and flip it over so that the left side is exactly like the right side but that is not necessary it will not um your project won't not work because it's not symmetrical but if you want to be symmetrical then you can do that so after you draw this on your thick paper you'll cut it out and you'll have a stencil like mine and then with your stencil, you're going to take your five sheets of paper. And if you are one of my younger artists working with a um, parent or someone older, it might be easier for that parent or um, guardian or whomever to trace this on each sheet of paper so that um, the younger kids can cut them out one by one. But if you're older and you can kind of finagle holding five sheets of paper and cutting it one time, that's what I would suggest. So you'll take your stencil and then you'll trace this onto the top sheet of paper and it should look like that and I have my little sheets here and then you will just hold this paper in place and grab a small trash can if you have one and cut these out but you guys know how to cut so we're just gonna hop on forward and once you have them all cut just kind of separate them like that Oop, I'm missing one and you can do this with more than five sheets of paper and you can do it with as few as three sheets of paper so if you don't want to do five or you don't have five different colors you like you can do it with like three sheets or you can do it with as many as ten as long as you can glue them all together you can go crazy so once you have them all cut out you will take one and just fold it in half 
So I have these already folded because this stuff kind of takes a while. So you just take it and fold it in half. And I just try to make sure these two edges here kind of come together. And then I wasn't worried about like how perfect the rest of it was. So you just fold it in half. And I will show you that again. So just make sure this these two corners kind of come together. But again, it doesn't need to be perfect. And you could also just take your stack and line them up like that and then fold them all in half at once. And then once you take them apart, you kind of crease them down. That will make this go faster if you're worried about time. But hopefully you have a little time so you can make this neat and make it nice. So now that we have our pieces, I am going to grab my string. And you'll just need a couple of these to kind of measure it out. I just eyeballed it. You can try to do an exact measurement if you want. If you're going to do exact measurements, then you will probably need a ruler. But I'm not worried about that. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. And I'm going to make my string so that it uh, goes up through the top and the bottom of my balloon. And I want quite a bit of string to come out of the bottom. And I want a loop so I can hang it from the top. So I have a really long piece. And I'm just going to cut it because I can always cut it shorter if I need to later on. Now I'm going to make sure my work area is protected with some scrap paper and come in with my glue. And I'm going to glue all of these folded pieces together. So I'm going to show you how you can do this with more than five pieces, but you can stop at any point and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to start with my orange and I'm going to lay this flat because it's the first one and I'm going to just put glue all over it. And then I'm going to lay um, my next piece, whatever color that is, on just one half of this. Try to line it up as much as I can. And now I'm going to add glue to the top piece that doesn't have any glue on it. And add the next one, still folded in half, just like that. And I can keep adding them as much as I want. So I think I'm going to just start to do work on the other side. You can keep adding them all on this side if you want and then just close it. Or you can alternate. It is up to you. I'm going to kind of alternate. So that I can just add glue on the whole thing. There we go. And my green, uh-oh, glue stick. My green came after the yellow there. And I think I'll do this purple one next. So, and I'm gonna do nine instead of 10. Or maybe even just eight. Okay. And just keep adding as many balloons as you want. And now I'm going to do my blue one last and open it. But before I do that, I'm going to put my string in here. I'm going to tie a knot at the end so that my string doesn't come out through the top. Just a little knot into the string. There we go. Here. And now I'm going to add glue to this side of my balloon that doesn't have any glue yet. Uh -oh. And then put my last blue balloon on top. There we go. And sandwich that string in there so that it doesn't come out. Uh-oh. Now I'm going to get some 
the other paper. So I'm just using scrap paper to cover my work area. So that might be something that you think about. If you have a work area that you can kind of wipe down, then you won't really need the scrap paper. But I prefer to use the paper so I can just kind of toss it once I'm done. And now I'm just flipping through and kind of folding them. And you can pick this up and unfold all your pieces. Make sure they're not glued together. And we have the top hot air balloon part. Now we are going to make the bottom or the gondola where a person would kind of sit and guide the hot air balloon. So you're going to take your tube and um, I just kind of eyeballed it and cut my tube. It doesn't need to be super precise because this is your artwork. There we go. And I'm just going to snatch that off. So now I have my gondola or my little basket. And you can do a couple of things here. You can use some... Oh, oops, oops, oops. <laughs> you can use markers or crayons to decorate this if you want. I will say that it is a little difficult to decorate this tube while it is circular. So you may want to just snip it lay it flat so you can decorate it and then tape it back together if you have tape you can also use paper to cover this tube so you can draw a picture on some paper and then cover the tube in that way you can add stickers you can cut stuff out and add that onto here so however you want to decorate it you can go ahead and do that now but I know you guys are creative enough to come up with that on your own. So I have this open like this. And I also have one that I haven't cut. If you are using a needle or something, this is when you will poke your holes in here. You can do it while it's flat or like a circle. And you really only need about four holes. So if you have a hole punch... Just four holes that are um, equally separated like that. Okay. Okay. Or if you have yours flat, it might be a little easier to do. So, and if you've cut yours open like this, then we're going to take this time to, um, you could roll it back together. Yeah, I think I'll roll it back together before I put my strings in. Just take my clear tape, put it on the edge, right on the edge there, and then make this a tube again. There we go. So now these are basically the same thing again. So I'm going to use this one. And you'll need to punch some holes in the bottom of your hot air balloon. So I'm going to punch four holes because I have four in my basket. So I'm going to do four in the actual balloon. And it doesn't matter which layers you punch the holes in. Uh, oh, there we go. And I will say, if you're using thin paper, you'll want to wait till this is dry <laughs> to punch the holes. Because it kind of gets a little eaten up. But let's see if we can do this now. Yeah, see it's kind of eating my paper up. So, I will just go ahead and use something else. Like a needle. So I'm just using a straight pin here. So if you have a straight pin or a safety pin. And depending on how thick your string is, this may or may not work. But I'm going to get it started with this needle. And then make my hole a little bit bigger with my pencil. There we go. 
So it's not the most pretty thing, but if you don't have a hole punch, you can do that. You can also um, carefully poke a hole with scissors. Let's see. Or you can kind of snip a hole in here. Fold it like that. And cut a little V in there and that will make a hole. So if you don't have the hole punch, don't worry because there's a bunch of different ways you can make holes for your string to go through. So now I have two holes here and two holes here. They're a little ugly, but that's okay. <laughs> and I'm going to bring my string back over here and I will lace my string through the basket and the balloon. So I'm going to start with the basket. Oops. I'm going to come from the inside and come out just because it's a little bit easier to hold my string like that. And then go through one of the holes on the balloon. Okay. And now I'm going to come from the inside out on my basket. Just kind of straighten out my string so that it doesn't get tangled up. And then I'm going to go back through the balloon. Here, like that. And if your string is unraveling, you can twist it with your fingers, kind of get it back together, or you can put a piece of tape at the end to make it a little more sturdy and easier to go through the holes. So now I'm going to go back through my basket. And after I go through my basket, I'll find the next hole on my balloon. String it through there. See, there we go. Carefully pull it through and then go through the hole on my basket again and then go through the final hole on the balloon. Okay. And then I am going to go through um, the first hole on my basket again so that I can tie a knot so that my string stays in place. So instead of going from the inside out, I'm just going to grab the tail of this string, bring them together, and tie a knot. And I don't want this to be super long, so I'm going to trim this a little bit. Here we go. Tie a knot. And you can tie the knot any way you're comfortable with, um, as long as the strings are secured. There we go. And voila. So I'm going to just kind of tug my basket, pull it down just a little bit to make sure the strings are kind of even. And now I have my hot air balloon. So you'll come back up here and kind of unfold everything. And once you hang it up, it will kind of unfold itself and even out. But there we have it. You have your very own hot air balloon. So I really like this project because you can really um, make it your own. If you have beads, you can add beads to your string. You can decorate the balloons by drawing on them individually. Everybody's hot air balloon will look different, I'm sure. So if you have followed along with me during this tutorial, make sure you snap a picture and leave it in the comments or email us at cap at collegeforcreativestudies.edu. You don't have to type all of that out. Just head over to the caption, copy and paste it, shoot us an email, and you have the opportunity to be featured on our social media on Facebook and Instagram where we post our videos Monday through Thursday and if you need to run this video back you can also watch it on YouTube and we have an entire library of videos for you so that you can 
just do art all summer all the time so hopefully you have enjoyed this if you have any questions or comments make sure you leave them in the comment section for me i look forward to seeing you again and make sure you come back tomorrow for more art tutorials with cap at home thank you